check in individually. Okay. Yeah, you check in individually. So hi everyone. We're here for something I'm nuclear hyped about. When I did my research coming to Singapore, we're about to have one of my favorite entrees, and that's fish head curry, which, you know, I, I'm not from here and I don't know how everything works properly, but chicken and rice is the national dish here, like, like what is hamburger is the United States. And in my opinion, if I was the one calling the shots, it would be what we're about to have, which is fish head curry, which emerges the Chinese tradition of having the fish heads with the curry, which the large overabundance of Indian population here. And it's, I've had it a couple times. When I came here with Roland the first time two years ago, all I did was badger, pester, and bother him, saying, when are we having fish head curry? When are we having fish head curry? He's like, seven on, seven on. So we eventually finally had it, and it was mind-blowing. I'm not exaggerating. I brought Joy to that same place last year where I had the fish head curry for the first time in Pastor Riz, and she was like, you know what? This is really, really good. And so I did a quick Google search here, which I hadn't done yet. And we're in the Little India area of town, which I've been super excited to come to. We're here and we got our mutton biryani about this quick after we ordered. And uh, Joy ordered it, which is a good call because I love lamb and mutton and all that stuff. And from what I read in the newspaper here, and I didn't know this, it said that biryani is one of the absolute main Indian dishes in existence. And I'm no stranger to it, but I didn't understand the, uh, the significance of how good the product is. And, it's supposed to be the truth. Look at that, there's a full egg in here. This is amazing. So, we're gonna have our first uh, taste of this here. Came with a couple chutneys, or accoutrements for it, so, do the world. Mmm. Nice. It's really, it's subtle and it didn't hit me at first, but it's got a lot of, depth of spice to it afterwards it kicked in. I'm gonna get a piece of the, the mutton here with it. Well, it didn't taste, but here comes our fish head curry. Thank you. The mutton's good too. Here's our fish head curry. It's always a red snapper. What? It's really big. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Look at this. This looks amazing. Um, you want me to try? I will cut a segment off here. This is supposed to be the best in Singapore for everybody at home. Here, hi. You know what that is? Sure, right here. I'll take this for her. Thanks. Thank you very much. can't tell you all how thoroughly excited I am to try this amazing looking fish head curry. This is the first bite. Everything came all at once. We got assaulted with this gluttonous feast. It's, it's exponentially better than the other ones I've had. It, it's amazing. And as we get thoroughly deeper into this video, deeper in the mix, you all will still see me try to get the cheeks and the coup de gras will be when I try to eat the eyeball, like I always do. And we've got our naan bread here to soak all this up with. And I think what might be a first in recorded history, might I, I might even, we might even have leftovers for this. So we'll get back with you all on this. This is so good, it's disturbing. We, we got a winner here, this is amazing. So take another look at this bad boy. Look at the teeth on there, just ready to just tear it up. So we're gonna eat and enjoy our meal here for a little bit. We'll get back with you all, thanks. We've got our fish head curry for Joy here. We flipped it over. Look at those teeth in there. I'm gonna get some of the cheek meat for myself. <laughs> this is frighteningly good.
Another reason why we wanted to come here is we got our cup of Tataric, which Joy says is like a tea, coffee, Indian thing that I've never heard of. And I'm extremely anxious to try. Wow, it tastes like tea, but it looks exactly like coffee. Really weird, and it has like the creaminess of coffee and the aftertaste like tea. Crazy, really good. I should have made note that this restaurant is from 1974, which in restaurant years is amazing. I cannot believe how many old restaurants there are in this country. It's unbelievable, awesome. So we're gonna keep enjoying this. I don't think there's any leftovers. So thanks a lot, take care. So it must be noted that I didn't get a chance to say earlier, the stuff is on banana leaves and on their website, it claims there's medicinal properties to serving on a banana leaf. And it's also obviously biodegradable as you use at one time. But I got it, we're, we're reaching the magnum opus of this video here. The first time I came here with Roland and his military friends, I had to try to impress them. I had to enhance my street cred, you know? So I said, I'll eat the eyeball, no problem. I'm sure it's like, you know, big drum roll we going. So it should be noted that banana leaf is part of this name of this restaurant. It's every entree is served on banana leaf. So it's biodegradable and it says, claims on their website that it has medicinal purposes itself with the banana leaf, which is really nice. So we've come to the best part of the video, maybe the highlight of the entire series. The first time I came here with Roland to Singapore, his home country two years ago, I was trying to impress, uh, be impressive when we had the fish egg curry finally in front of his military friends. I said, I'll eat the eyeball, no problem. And I tried to eat it and I was worried the eyeball itself was so hard. It was, it was like a marble was in my mouth and I had to spit it out. It was embarrassing and degrading. I've since subsequently had some eyeballs some other times. So I'm gonna try it this time. Wish, wish me luck, faithful viewers. We're digging it out of here. This is not easy. It takes a lot of guts. And there it is right there. It's really hard. And there it is. Another eyeball down the hat. Thanks for watching. So, we're not letting a meal that good slide without a good epilogue to it because there was a lot of stuff going on there that was hard to translate into the first video because as you all could see, we got assault and batteried by the wait staff. We got our appetizers, our meal, and all that stuff all lickety split, one on the non, one on top of the other before we even got our drinks. So it was overload. We couldn't do everything like at our cadence we wanted to. And also, I was in such a hurry, I didn't get to tell everyone that the most important of facts was, is this was, I must, per, I must capitalize the fact that this was date night. So this was date night. So I have to say, I don't think I would have gone all out with the whole eating the eyeball thing if this was the first date. I do not recommend that. So to each their own on that, I hope my wife enjoyed the product and everything, but she did. So we want to talk a little bit more in detail because it was mind bending how good some of those dishes were. Their biryani wasn't that that good, but it came with two chutneys or two sauces, like a yogurt sauce and so sort of like spicy curry sauce or something with it. And those were insanely good. And I'm not one that normally cares about yogurts and creamy stuffs like in general, but I've never had any that were that good and they were exponentially good. The coffee tea thing, I can't remember how to pronounce it, was really, really good. And I gotta say something about the, the gravy for the fish head curry. They all have lady fingers in it, so I've always had that. <sighs> but what made this one different was it had pineapple in it, which I'm normally not a big fan of pineapple in food. This, I don't know what it did to it, it was really good. There was also definitely tomatoes in there and I definitely bit into a root of, um, cinnamon so the sauce was really good the fish head was enormous it was amazing and like i said this place was strewn with awards laden all over the place all behind the whole counter was just engulfed in them so 
we're here at the condo just trying to decompress from that devastatingly good meal and um, we just wanted to share with you all just to put in perspective how not a, much of a joke this place was I would have got a t-shirt for it if they were on sale that's how good it was but instead the only souvenir I'll get it's the first place I've gotten the to-go menu for from so uh, I will look at this thoroughly in detail and study it and um, hopefully we'll check it out again so thanks for watching and that meal was really really good so thank you very much